Thanks for sticking with us. We continue with our Justice File series, a son blaming his father for pulling the trigger in three murders. The 2014 murders turned into a cold case before investigators got a tip from Justin Christopher. It led to capital murder charges against his own father. Now, for every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4's senior crime and punishment correspondent, Marcos Ortiz, with tonight's Justice Files. This is the first time Justin Christopher speaks openly about what he saw back in 2014. It's a court hearing for his father, Richard, who allegedly shot three men in cold blood. There was a significant amount of blood and bullet holes in the car, so we don't know. That's all we know. But no one's inside the Tahoe. From the outset, Salt Lake City police don't know what took place. It's 2014. The bloody Tahoe offers clues, but it takes time. They soon learn the vehicle belongs to Danny Gallegos, who's missing. His mother wants answers. As a mother, I'm just really, I want to find my son and Levi and Brayden. So please, if anybody has any information, please help us. Eventually, police discover evidence that puts two others, Braden Emerson and Levi Collins, in the same Tahoe as well as Gallegos. All three mysteriously vanish and becomes a cold case. But in 2017, Justin Christopher is sentenced for money laundering. His attorney tells the judge Christopher's working on a deal with state prosecutors about three unsolved murders. Justin Christopher allegedly witnesses his own father, Richard Christopher, shoot and kill the three men. And for the last four years, the Salt Lake County DA's office, the Salt Lake City Homicide have worked together on this matter. And today, the result of that effort is the filing of these criminal charges. Richard Christopher now faces capital murder charges for the deaths of the men. Justin is given immunity. And prosecutors are counting on his testimony to help convict his father. Recently, Justin Christopher lives up to his end of the deal during a hearing. Out of the corner of my eye, I heard a loud bang. And I saw my, saw my dad holding a gun over my over. Danny. Danny's eyes rolled in the back of his head, his, his uh, neck went backwards, and he, he passed away. He testifies that all three men never saw the father approach them with a gun in his hand. Justin Christopher says the bodies are taken to a pet crematorium to dispose of the bodies. Justin Christopher's testimony was enough to convince the judge that his father should stand trial for the murders. Richard Christopher remains in jail. No date has been set for his trial. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.